stamping friends I'm Karina with karinascreations.com and I just want to show you this cute little box I found that was made with the scalloped tag topper punch now this box is on um, Heidi Weaver's blog and she's got some picture instructions there as well so you can take a look at at that but I just wanted to quickly show you and make a quick video on how it goes together so first of all you need to start with I'm using raspberry ripple cardstock and I'll show you my finished design on my blog but you start with the cardstock and it has to be seven and a half inches by five inches and I'll just pull this up as well this is what it looks like when it's going to be done but I'll show you how I get there just because it's kind of hard to see in this video like I said you start with um, cardstock that is seven and a half inches by five inches and the first thing we're going to do is pull up my paper trimmer and I'm going to be lining the five inch edge, put it at the top of my paper trimmer. And I'm going to line this up at three and a half inches. Make sure you can see that. So three and a half. And then we are going to score. And then I'm going to turn it this way on the seven inch side, seven and a half inch side. And we're going to score it at one and a half inches, three and a half inches, five inches, and seven inches. Okay, now I'll take the paper trimmer away. Now, how do you get the tag topper punch in there? What I did, you can see on my tag topper punch, I've got these two little orange pieces here that just helps me line up my score lines into my scallop tag topper punch. And this is actually just, um, is it a post-it note or a little flag? It's these little flags that I got just from the store and it's got a little bit of adhesive on the back, but a post-it note would probably work too. And what I'm going to do is these two score lines um, on the two inch sections, that's the part I actually want to put into my tag topper punch. So you can see you don't want the one and a half inch side, you want the wider panel, which it should be three and a half inches. And you have to wiggle it into your punch. So once I get it into my punch as far as I can go, then I'm going to line up my, my two score lines two score lines are here it's a little hard to see but I'm basically lining it up with where I put my post-it notes and then I push it in as far as it'll go and then I punch and you can see that's what it looks like when it comes out and then I'm going to do the second panel and again it's easy to tell which uh, part you're putting in because it has to be the two inch side or the two inch score line piece so again you put it in as far as it will go get that lined up and then I'm going to punch. Now you get a box that looks like this and we need to do a little bit of trimming. So you could take scissors and just trim along and get these little pieces out of there. But if you have the wonderful Stampin' Up! paper trimmer, you just pull it out and I've got my scoring blade and I will pull in my cutting blade and I am lining it up actually on the track. And I'm just going to cut those pieces away. That's why I love this Stampin' Trimmer. Because you can just move it where you need to. Cut away little bits that you want to cut away. And look at that. So now I've got a nice straight edge for the top of my box. And now I need to do a little bit of surgery on this. And we'll cut some pieces away. But basically you're left with um, this little half inch rectangle see if I can get a better picture of it for you. It's half inch rectangle. You need to cut that away. We don't need that piece. Bye bye. Okay so now we've got that piece gone and then the other bottom pieces I'm just going to cut up along the bottom to the first score line. Again it's a little hard to see with the light but I'm sure you will get the idea Okay, and then you just fold along all the score lines. Now I should get my bone folder out, but it's behind me and I'd have to search and I don't want to make you wait. 
So what I've already done is I've already put some sticky strip and some snail on a box that's already done. Okay, so you can see that I put sticky strip on this little quarter inch piece. Where's that half an inch? Actually, it's half an inch, guys, sorry. It's a good thing I'm gonna put the measurements on my blog. And we're just gonna close it up like this. Okay, and then we're just going to fold in the bottom pieces. So we'll put this one in first, and then we'll put this one in. And then my last little piece has more sticky strip, and I'm using sticky strip because I really don't want my box to fall apart. This is a little treat for my girls who are coming to my Friday Night Super Fun Stamp Night, and I'm gonna fill it with Valentine's, a little Valentine's treat for them. Okay, and that's it, so that's the box. So it's very easy to do, uses a little bit of cardstock. Again, the dimension was seven and a half by five inches, and I'll put the rest on my blog. Happy stamping!